We Thanks, go to Martha. our foreign correspondent on the ground, Trey Yankst, tweeting a short time ago, imagine the worst things possible that can be done to humans. Humans did all of that and more to Israeli civilians. Babies beheaded. People who were burned alive in their homes. Women raped and dragged through the streets. Don't look away. Trey is live on the ground in Netavot, Israel, right now with the very latest. Trey. Martha, good afternoon. We've been trying to get a better sense all day about these atrocities and just gather more information about the attack that took place on Saturday morning. But as we are doing this reporting, Hamas fighters are still trying to infiltrate into southern Israel. Just a few hundred feet from here, there are tanks staging, preparing to go into the Gaza Strip. And then farther toward the sea, in this part of Israel, right next to the Gaza border, three Hamas fighters came into southern Israel and engaged the Israelis in yet another firefight. They are trying to keep, commit more attacks against the Israeli soldiers and the Israeli people that do remain in this area. The death toll has now reached more than 1,000 people. And we're also learning more about how many Hamas militants took place in uh, this attack on Saturday morning. We today were driving further south to look at some of the towns and communities just along the border. And this area is deserted. It's been retaken by the Israeli military. But we can see the bodies of Hamas fighters along the sides of the road. We understand now, according to the Israeli military, more than 1,500 Palestinian militants took part in this cross-border raid on Saturday morning. And they went into the homes of civilians and they slaughtered them, women and children. And you read that tweet there, and that really is part of why we are here, to make sure that people don't look away. We are learning more about those atrocities each and every day. And we're also learning more about how the Israeli military is preparing to respond. You can see the images of inside Gaza right now. The Israelis continue their airstrikes today using all the fighter jets and the power that they have. Martha. Trey, thank you very much. We watch on the left-hand side of the screen. Obviously, it is nighttime in Gaza City right now. Um, and we have been watching some of the explosions and those efforts, no doubt, on the part of the Israelis to soften up some of those targets before they head in for this ground invasion. Trey, before I let you go, is there any indication of how close they are to that ground invasion? Martha, we're about as close as you can get to the Gaza Strip right now. And like I said, a few hundred feet away, there is a field of tanks and those tanks have their lights on. They are uh, ready to go. They have their engines running. And so they're simply waiting for the order. And this is a scene that looks very similar along the Gaza border. Troops are kitted out. They are prepared. They have bags with them. We saw today they have food in their trucks. They are prepared for a long stay. And Israeli media is reporting today this operation into Gaza when it finally is announced, when the prime minister comes forward and addresses the nation and the world, it could take months. Martha. Okay, Trey, thank you very much. We'll let you go uh, and we'll see you later. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.